Hey everybody, let's talk about how to use the keyboard keys to navigate a document and select text. So you already probably know that you can use the mouse to click wherever you want on the page and you can start typing. Um, and you can also use the mouse to just left click and drag to select text. But you can also just use the keyboard for these operations as well. So you can use the left, right, up, down arrows to move the cursor around. You can use control, hold the control key down while you do left and right and that'll move the cursor by a whole word and it will even keep moving on to the next line. You can use the home key to jump to the beginning of a line. You can use the end key to jump to the end of a line. And you can use control plus home to jump to the very top of a document or a text field and control end to jump to the very bottom. So I'll do control home again. And then there's also page up and page down. So if there's more text than what's visible in the, uh, the viewing area, you can use page down to move the entire text down by one visible area. So that's for moving the cursor around. Anytime you're moving the cursor around, you can just hold the shift key as well, and that will do text selection. So if I hold the shift key while I'm moving the text, or the cursor, uh, left or right, it'll select more text. You can do the same thing with control left and right. So hold the shift key down while we do control right, and we can keep selecting more words for our text selection. And you can use the left key to undo as well, or go, sort of go back and deselect text. Uh, if you hold shift while you're doing the home key, it'll select everything from wherever the cursor is to the beginning of the line. Similarly, if you hold shift and do the end key, it'll select text until the end of the line. And same thing with control home and control end. So I'll do control shift end. It'll select all the text from wherever the cursor was to the end of the document and control shift home selects everything from wherever the cursor is to the top of the document. And you can use this with page up and page down as well. So hold shift, do page down. You'll see it selected from where the cursor was and selected a page's worth of text. And then I could select another page and keep doing that. And finally, if you just want to select all of the text in a text box or on a page, you can use control A. So if I do control A here, it selects everything in this notepad document. So a real world example of where we might use this is when you're viewing a web page. Uh, perhaps we have a web page with a whole bunch of text like this one. You can see on the right side here, there's a scroll bar and this page has a whole bunch of text. If we were to try and select all of this using the mouse, we would have to click and drag and then just hold down and scroll and scroll and scroll. And you can see it would probably take me 30 seconds or a minute to select all the text on this page. So that's not very efficient. Instead, I could just use the control A keys and that instantly selects all of the text from the very start to the very bottom of the page. Uh, similarly, maybe I don't want all of the text on the page, but just from a certain point on the web page, I could just select some text here. You can use the up and down arrows as well to select some text, um, even page down. Uh, if you hold it, you can select text very quickly, but uh, an even better way is to use control shift end, what we talked about before for automatically jumping to the bottom of a text box or a web page. And so here that selected all the text from where my cursor was uh, to the very bottom of the page. Similarly, I could use control shift home to select all the text from where my cursor was to the top of the page. These controls come in handy even if you're not doing text selection. So even if you're not copying and pasting text from a web page, maybe you're just reading a web page. Uh, so here you're reading. If you wanted, you could use the down, up and down arrows to scroll down one line at a time. Uh, but you can also use page down. So maybe you like to read an entire page at a time and then just move on to the next page. Uh, so you can use page up and page down for that. As well, you can also use the home and the end keys to jump to the very top or the very bottom of a web page. So here if I press end, it'll jump me to the very bottom of the web page. And if I press home, to the very top. So this is very handy on very long web pages and especially handy on web pages that have infinite scrolling. So things like Facebook where you could go to the bottom of the page and as you scroll down it just loads more and more content. So maybe you know the content you're looking for is down four or five or 10 or 15, 50 pages. You can just hold the end key and it will just keep scrolling down and down and down as more content loads. So again, here are the keys that we covered and I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Thanks.